UMass Boston Softball looking to get off to their best start since 2017 at 4-0 would tie their best start in program history as well at that 4-0 mark, taking on College of Mount St. Vincent on Tuesday afternoon in South Carolina. And the Beacons would get on the scoreboard first. Bree Melchiana with a sacrifice fly, scores a run, makes it 1-0 in the first inning. The Beacons coming into the game 2-0 on the season when scoring first. And the offense continues to roll as it has through the first three games. Tam Landry, a two-run double, makes it 3-0 UMass Boston in the second inning. And the Beacon offense continues to roll from there, Haley Tilbury then, a two-run triple in the same inning, makes it 5 nothing Beacons over the Dolphins. But the Dolphins would not go away quietly in this one. In the third inning, they would battle back. Melchionda loads the bases up, and then some miscues by the Beacon defense allow the Dolphins to score some runs and pull within two. As you see Jocelyn Vega right here with a little pop-up, a miscommunication between second base and right field allows the ball to drop in. Run scores, it's now 5 to one. Simone Caruso, the next batter up, a fielder's choice to Lauren Miner. She goes to third. The runner is safe, makes it a five to two ball game. And then Katie Hutter, an RBI single right there, makes it five to three. Beacon lead now just down to two. However, Bree Melchionda would get out of this jam after getting one out, a double play ball. It's lined right back at her. Melchionda doubles off the runner at third. Beacon still up five to three. And they would get an insurance run, Sydney Sandin. Gets an RBI ground out in the fourth inning. Now the Beacons up 6-3. to three. And once again, the Dolphins would respond to getting a run back as a Hutter sacrifice fly in the fifth inning now brings it to a 6-4 to four ball game. However, UMass Boston's offense clicking on all cylinders in the sixth inning, and they would put the game away because of this. A seven-run sixth inning. Bases loaded, no one out. Sidney Sandin, an RBI single, is going to score a run, and this was just the start. Bree Melchionda then comes to the dish. She's hit by a pitch. Beacons now in front, 8-4. to four. Jordan Toomey, the next batter in the order. She gets on with an RBI single up the middle. And then just like that, the Beacons are ahead 9-4. to four. So this ball game, well in control of the Beacons. Elsa Vinaco in her first at bat of the season. A fielder's choice. Pitcher coming home. Runner safe. Beacons are ahead 10-4. to four. Lauren Miner then with an RBI fielder's choice as the runner is going to be out there, but she ends up getting in safely at first. And just like that, Beacons ahead 11-4. to four. Tam Landry then comes to the dish. She hits into a fielder's choice as well. UMass Boston ahead 12-4, to four, as you see the runner out at third there. And then the final run of this game for the Beacons, Adriana Fusco, an RBI double, scores another run. It's now 13-4. To four Beacons, who are up nine now, looking to get the mercy rule. But Jocelyn Vega would extend this game one more inning as her two run double would bring the Dolphins within seven, 13 to six, as two runs score. So we would head to a seventh inning, but the Beacons close out this victory 13 to six, their best start in program history, tied at four and oh with 2017's team. Tam Landry had a big day, three RBIs, a career high and team high. The Beacons taking on Stevenson University later on this afternoon.